previously did a couple of vest videos. I did one responding to fuck mounts on the internet because I was bored and I felt like shitting on people. And I did another one that was kind of off the wall, kind of in your face about my newest duty vest that I purchased to replace another vest. But I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about some other equipment I have. This time it's more to put some other thoughts in your head because what I showed you previously was this duty vest that is configured to hold these specific magazines and to make sure that I have a, spe a specified amount of them because there is, a, there is a list when we are configuring these for duty purposes, we are told to have specific things because believe it or not, when you're a soldier, a pen and paper is inspectable. Um, if you put one of these on to go to the range, okay, I need you to put this assortment of magazines on you for this exercise we're doing. Oh, I don't have enough places to put those. And then you end up putting them in your cargo pockets and you look really stupid doing that. When you were told, that's why they have these layouts and outlines and all these different steps to treat us like we're stupid because two people out of 5,000 were retarded. And so that means to people with a bird on their chest or higher that everything that is smaller than a golden bar must be absolutely stupid. And therefore we need micromanagement and to have everything kindergarten down to us in crayon. But for those of us who don't need that, that's who I'm talking to this time. So with this vest, as I've said before, I have to have the ability to hold seven and four magazines. I have to have my administrative pouch to put my writing and paper stuff. I have to have a place to put night vision, which is pending for this vest. I have to have gloves, whether they're on my hands, attached to my vest, or in my pocket somewhere. We have this really stupid knife, which I've made comments before about how the, the open button and the direction you push the button to disengage the safety can be pressed with the same motion, which when putting it in a pocket is not a good thing. It's a Gerber Emerson. I didn't remember the name last time. It's a Gerber Emerson. And when put in a pocket, like a front pants pocket, the way you would put like a Kershaw or a Ker uh, Fox Karambit like I also have, um, I had it open up in my pocket and when I reached down to grab it to open something, it opened a piece of my skin. And that's not a good thing. That's why the only safe way to carry a Gerber Emerson is in the provided pouch. And I've attached that here mainly for accountability, but also because, and there's a clip on there that, that's meant to go like this into a pouch, but that is how this thing opened up. So as I've said multiple times, we're not gonna we're not gonna carry it that way. So, and then I got my pistol magazines on here because that way if I take this thing home and need it for any sidearms that I have, or if they ever do decide that I matter enough to be given an M17 or an M9, I will have a place to put those magazines. But what if we're doing something where plates are not required or we're told that we should not have plates because we're simply walking around and we're told to have kit to meet the requirements the kit requirement of having kit. Well, then at that point I could put something on like this. And we're issued different things that act like this, but they have to be assembled and there's a bunch of parts that come with them. And if you do and or don't know how to use those, it depends really on your unit and what they're making you do with it and, and other things like that. But for my uses, this was relatively cheap. I don't remember how much I spent on it, but if it was a horribly obscene price, I would probably remember it. This is a little loose on me right now because this is meant to go over a ballistic vest that's also issued to me, but it's... So, I have my pistol mags, I have my ability to hold the, the ordered number of rifle magazines, I have places to put pouches to put everything else on here that I want. There's a place in the back of this thing to put hydration. And there's places up here to put things like tourniquets, knives, flashlights, 
and neato little cool guy stuff like Gerbers. The proper term for what this is is multi-tool because everybody calls it Gerber because Gerber makes the most commonly seen one out there but it's called a multi-tool because Leatherman makes them too. So then, what about those of us who are multi-platform? Well, then you have something like this. And really the only difference between this and the other vest, other than this one didn't cost as much, is that I put a different type of pouch on the front so that I can accommodate both the AK and the AR-10 so that I can lob 30 caliber rounds at people from different distances depending on what I grab a hold of when the situation comes. And I have to make a decision on how I wish to best defend my property, my life, and those around me. And with this one, this is not a duty vest, this is a personal vest. Therefore, I don't have a requirement to keep things in this pouch up here that I don't have on this one. But I could eventually put one up here because I have the space to put it, and then I'll have more places to put patches. It's because some of you out there who are watching this are offended as fuck by the American flag. It's okay. You can get the fuck out if you need to. I've got my pistol magazines. I've got my first aid stuff, just like I have on the duty vest. I have my side here slick so that I can go for the pistol. I have a smooth back because I can grab a camel bag or a backpack with hydration in it and put it on my back. This is for when rounds are already flying or you know that they are absolutely going to fly no matter what and you need that level 4 protection on your front and sides. But what about those who are putting together their own kit, they don't have a lot of money, they just have enough to get like the gun the magazines, some ammo, some first aid supplies because they heard that that's a really good thing to have because the first aid supplies is probably more important than having ammo. And they don't want to, they don't have, they don't want to buy this kind of vest here that without plates looks and feels really fucking stupid. So what options do they have? Well, then you have options like this that at the time of purchase, this was around $20 to $25. It has three big AK accommodating pouches sewn into the front. It has two big accessory looking pouches up here in the front. It has an empty back space because this is just a cross thing that, that just wraps around your body and holds your stuff. And this can be adjusted to go over a ballistic vest that might not have molly webbing, or you don't wanna go and try to pick and choose every single pouch and try to assemble it and, and weave the webbing on the straps and, and just have that big headache. You just wanna put the body armor on, put the pouches on, and you're good to go. This is one of those things, kinda of like that other vest I showed you for when we're doing plateless military activities or when I just fucking feel like it. There's also, you can open this, and there's plenty of space floating around in here to put things. Be careful what you put in there though because it will get between your body and your magazines and if you put anything that causes too much discomfort, you're gonna think that this chest rig is more of a problem than it's worth when in reality you just didn't know how to, how to better place your belongings. And if you're looking for, if all you can afford is a $25 vest, to go with your budget rifle and your surplus magazines and your steel cased ammo and your $30 pouchless IFAC insert kit, then you're not wrong for buying something like this. In fact, the only thing that you're wrong for is either not trying at all or overly criticizing other people for not having the income that you have. 